So just a little update today, uh, Sunday the 5th, I believe, of April. Out back, I do uh, turn off 500 watts of the panels. Getting way above 60 amps. And uh, I've got what they call a 100 amp breaker on there, but it, it tripped at like 69, 68, something like that. <clears throat> But it tripped, I had to shut off the panel, so I went out there and turned off of uh, 500 watts of my porch panels, porch roof panels. It was getting well above 1990, and at 24 volt my uh, Outback, you shouldn't go above 2000 I guess, at 24 volt. But, uh, so I've got 500 watts less of uh, panels on the Outback now. Seems to be doing good now. Hadn't tripped a breaker again. But the wattage is closer on the uh, on both charge controllers, it looks like. The midnight's accurate on the kilowatt. The uh, Outback's not, because like I said, it, it tripped the battery breaker. And we've been running the fridge for, well, most of the 110 in the house for a day and a half. With no help on grid. That's strictly off grid 110. That's so not been bad. It started out super gloomy rainy this morning. And it's about a little afternoon right now. But, uh, yeah, just a quick update. It was cranking. I think maximum uh, amperage in earlier was like 120 amps into the batteries before uh, the breaker snapped. Well, just an update on the solar day. I'll try to bring more here in a little bit. I don't want to hold much more. That was going to 1500 there. 1510. That's not bad for the panels I got hooked up. This one's lagging a little bit. I got 2,000 watts worth of panels on here. And I think uh, 2,100 watts on this one. But, um, yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm going to go over 1,600 on this one now since I put, took them panels off. Well, thanks for watching. I'm going to start using my panel, my extra panels on cloudy days. Because they draw, they draw water even in the clouds. Especially this time of year. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would. We'll keep you updated. And uh, be safe. Please subscribe, be safe, and prep.